you're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. I am Hexchen from the Down Ender. If you guys didn't know, the last doll that we made was Clear Denial from Monster High. And for this video, we will be making Miss Laguna Blue. This G3 Laguna, you either like it or you don't, but I really, really do like her overall color scheme. As with all of my Monster High makeovers, that is still the goal for Miss Laguna. I definitely want to give her beach vibe. I have noticed that a lot of artists have reimagined her and restyled her into the Japanese Gyaru style, which I agree. <laughs> There's so many like branches of Gyaru out there, it can get overwhelming. My personal favorite one and the one I was really obsessed with growing up was Hime Gyaru, which is like, it's Princess Gal. And I have been so in love with that style because it was just like royalty and princessy. For Miss Laguna, I definitely want to go back to kind of like a beachy Gyaru style, which is like, not me, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> Maybe I'll have her hair pulled up a little bit with a flower holding it. Cause I feel like if I remember correctly, G1, she has kind of like a flower, like a beach flower. So really, really big hair, definitely very 80s. Yeah, I wanna give her pants. I think I really wanna go for that route. Again, she's wearing her bikini. I might wanna open this up over here and just kind of make this look like a waterfall, like very like jellyfish-like. Obviously I have to give her back her classic wedges. So that one is gonna be very G1 inspired. I always like the, like this is the face, but you know, I, I gotta, I feel like the iconic Gyaru like makeup, it can translate into the, the fish look because they exaggerate the bottom part of their eyes and also sometimes the top. And I feel like that shape itself is kind of like fish eye, kind of. Oh, Miss Laguna, Miss Laguna is here. Oh my raw. Oh, <laughs> that's not it, blimey. I feel like she is giving Gyaru Disco on the beach. And honestly, Ken could never. So for her bag, this one is kind of fun. In G1, she had a fishbowl for her bag. If it's the same pet, Neptuna was in the fishbowl. If you guys didn't know, there was a Japanese animation of Monster High, so they had their own webisodes and it was all in Japanese, very anime vibes. Even their character design was a little bit different. Their version of Laguna, she was carrying the fishbowl and it has moisturizer in it like SPF or something. I don't know, it might be kind of cool. And I feel like it breaks, like out of all of the, the waviness of it, the fishbowl actually breaks up the overall silhouette. And I feel like in a good way. So this is the concept we have for Miss Laguna Blue. And I am very, very intimidated with this plan. Let's go ahead and dive down under and make Miss Laguna Blue from Honduras. And um, yes, I'm excited. The pink in her skin is actually deeper than Draculaura, at least I think it is. And her pink is a little bit more kind of salmon, more warmer tone. So definitely not as cool tone as Miss Draculaura. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Her face is absolutely to die for, and I really cannot wait to give her the Gyaru makeover. This is the pants that I ordered from Deluxe Designs. As you can see, it is very, very true to my sketch. I really, really love the fabric and the technique that she made for Miss Laguna's pants. It is a lot brighter than I initially designed, but we are gonna do our best to g one it and make it a little bit more spooky. I think I'm gonna make her a bikini out of this fabric. If you guys are Ever After High fans, you would know that this is from Michelle Mermaid. This one actually has texture. It's just a better quality, I think, overall. I don't think we are gonna be going the bikini top route, which is fine because I was 50-50 with it. I made these options and I have a bikini, the halter top, and a bandana top. 
and I have asked the House of Hexgen on Instagram to pick, and we have a winner. And here is our top, our bandana top. Whenever it's time to like sew something, I need to make sure that I am focused. Usually when I am filming something, I'm like less focused on the doll because I have to focus on the cameras. But here is a very, very accurate visual reenactment of what went down when I was sewing this piece of fabric. Oh my freaking god. Ah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm done. I can't do it. I cannot do it. did it. Let's work on our skirt. Of course, per my sketch, I have to color this in a color, and I thought maybe pink would have been really, really cool. So let's go ahead and try that and wash it off and wait for it to dry. I want to work on the bikini strap showing um, outside of her pants. So over here, I'm just taking some wire and some transparent clear beads, and this will act as the bikini handle. So it's not really like the bikini, it's just kind of like an idea of it. Here is the skirt all dried up. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. So I just wrapped it around her very, very effortlessly. And I did add a snap on it, actually. And now I'm just kind of like making it a little bit more grungy, tearing it up, cutting it up, putting holes in it, because I feel like it looked a little bit too proper and, you know, just... It, it looked too clean. So over here, I'm really bringing in the spooky horror vibes that is very reminiscent of G1. I do want to add some glam to her skirt, so I'm just taking my Preciosa crystals over here, and this one has a shift of pink and blue, which is absolutely amazing and perfect for Miss Laguna. And I feel like it also gives the illusion of like water droplets just like glistening in the ocean, so I really love it. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I want to spray her skirt with glitter. I think that will just give Miss Laguna more magic, so we're gonna try that. Okay, okay, it's doing something. Okay. Well, it doesn't hurt to add more, right? Since the Krylon is there, maybe it will help adhere the, the hairspray. But right now, I just realized that her color palette so far with the top and also the skirt is a little bit too like bright and fun, but I still want her to look like she matches the G3 makeovers that I've made. And I feel like right now she is standing out. Specifically her top and her pants, I feel like that needs some sort of black detailing. We're going for the top. We're going for the top. Oh my God, here we go. For her top, I actually really used a fabric paint in black because I really did not want to make this stiff especially because of all the details however it is very reminiscent of like puffy paint it's literally like you're painting with puffy paint like that is the consistency I do think that bringing in and outlining all of the scale details really bring in the G1 vibes to this Laguna and it looks really really cool I am also outlining her pants, specifically this opening over here, the bell-bottom mermaid area of her pants, just to bring in and marry it with the outlined scales of the top. I thought that would have been really, really cool to do. And just add a little bit more detail. Over here, I actually made a mistake, so I'm just embracing that and I'm giving it a little bit of a gradient effect, which I really, really enjoy. And I think it just overall works with what, we're, what I'm going for in terms of making the color palette a little bit darker. Although the skirt is so, so perfect and cute, I do have to darken it as well. So I tried to use a synthetic dye for this one in black, but it didn't really take it. It did make it dark gray, which is fine. We have deepened everything and we are going into the G1 territory. The skirt is really, really nice. It's not as black as I would like. I think now I want to work on her shoes. As usual, I'm just tracing the shape of their feet onto paper, and we are going to cut this into warbler. 
making the shoes is always very, very intimidating for me because trying to get both left and right sides of the shoe, I know it's not gonna be perfect. I'm using my heat gun to activate the warbler and it will make this very, very malleable. And I just kind of mold that onto the doll's feet so it takes that shape. Here I have kind of drawn on the shape of the overall heel, but this is going to be kind of like the skeleton of our sandal heel. Let's cut it up. After we have kind of like the idea of the wedges part, I'm going to go ahead and cut some straps for it. And my main goal for this one is for the straps to really fit in the foot of Laguna because I don't want this to be loose. I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to be just right. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill up the sandal with our epoxy sculpt. If you guys want to see more kind of like sculpted shoe tutorials, definitely check out my Cleo Denial, the previous uh, doll that I made. I actually made kind of like a pyramid shape shoe. That one's a little bit more fun, so definitely check that out. After sanding the shoe, we are now able to paint it and we are doing the same exact color scheme that Laguna had in G1, which is black wedges with stripes. And I thought this was really, really cool because, I don't know, I just feel like it's so beachy, it's so 90s, early 2000s, and I'm just obsessed with it. Sometimes I do wish that G1 and G3 Monster High shoes are compatible with each other because they are so not. Like, the G1 just has a really, really high arch and G3 doesn't. Although I have heard that Rainbow High shoes fits the G3 Monster High feet. So that is interesting to know. And of course, like the other ghouls, Miss Laguna needs some good red bottoms. Even though it has nothing to do with her overall color scheme. That's how I do it. As you can see, I added a little bit more motif onto the strap of her sandals. I feel like that really makes it a little bit more fun and gyaru. I do want to work on giving her back the webbed fingers. And I feel like that would be really, really cool. So I'm going to do that for Miss Laguna. For that, I'm just going to be using my um, Sapphire Blue resin. Adding the webbing back to her hands is actually not too, too difficult. I'm just taking some tape over here. We are taping the bottom of her hands, and this will act as a flat surface for the resin to stay on. So I'm just using some blue resin over here that matches her fin. And we are putting that under the LED UV lamp. After it's cured, you may remove the tape very, very carefully. And voila! We have our webbed fingers. While we're here, might as well give her the Gyaru nails. I'm just taking some recycled doll packaging and I am cutting lots of strips. Obviously, we need 10. And I am just super gluing that all individually onto her hands. I am going to be securing this with UV gel, just so that it's a lot more sturdy. We're giving her blue polish because it matches her overall color scheme and it's a callback to her original skin tone. And of course, we have to give her Decora nails. Now this isn't just a Gyaru staple, this is a staple in so many fashion subcultures in Japan and the whole world. Decora nails is just absolutely amazing and so kawaii they look absolutely amazing like this is as gyaru as it's gonna get i'm adding some charms and decoration onto her skirt as well just to tie everything together tie all of the elements together now i want to work on her bag so i went to daiso and i got these charms or not charms but these um ornaments these crystal christmas ornaments so this one is nice and i love how it has like kind of like a shifting color to it it's not like completely clear you have to be very careful on this i will be using a heat tool 
very hot and it has a exacto knife on it as you can see it's very sharp I don't know oh there they there go oh my god we are in you guys we are in oh my god you guys i am cutting a little bit way too big than the line ah okay almost ah! Oh my god, okay. It is definitely not perfect, but um, I was planning on, like, I have to sand it anyway. Kind of cleaned up the edge. As you can see, it is very smooth, and I mean, it's not perfect, but it's smooth. So I'm gonna use my Forma Gel Nail Builder. Most fish bowls, the edges are rounded, and it has kind of like a like a, it's a thicker part, so I'm gonna try and emulate that. I tried my best to keep this as uniform as possible, and I tried not to put it under the lamp too many times because over time the gel will just yellow because of the UV exposure. So I tried my best to only put it at least twice in the lamp. After that, we can finally put in our lotion slash moisturizer, aka our silicone inside the fishbowl. And you just want to make sure this looks organic, like it's an actual lotion and moisturizer in there. So I was just kind of like playing around with it. I wanted the fishbowl to be very cute as well and to make sense for her overall outfit. So I used the same exact beads. And then I do want to a little bit decorate it just so that it is cohesive with her overall look. Here we have our Laguna here. I kind of brushed out her hair. Um, we have to recurl her, of course. I'm gonna start from the bottom. I feel like this will add a lot of va 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 voom. I'm really hoping that this curling up technique will really give her a lot of volume in her hair. I really just want it to be so big and voluminous. Let's remove her factory paint and you may use acetone or nail polish remover if it has acetone in it. And for a list of materials, I do have a two-part video that I have linked down below or in the iCard. So you may check that out for all the information about my materials and how I repaint. I would have to say that I was very, very intimidated with this Gyaru look. It's definitely not my bailiwick. So as per usual, I do want to sketch out the features first and make sure that it looks like how I want it to look. And I use like light colors first and then I start to deepen everything in. But overall, I just want this Gyaru look to look like as if Laguna put in the Gyaru makeup. Like, I don't want this to look like, oh, this is her face. This is how she looks. I want this to look like she has a face under all of this and she just put on this Gyaru makeup because she wants to. So that is like the overall look that I was trying to go for Miss Laguna. I'm doing my best to bring in a lot of blues into her overall color story though. So over here, I'm using blues in her ears. I'm using blue in her nose contour. So I wanted to add the blue into her overall makeup look as well without it being the actual makeup. I'm so used to like my drag makeup or like my usual like face up style that this was so like interesting and fun for me because I usually have to angle everything up you know in drag makeup usually everything goes all the way up to your temple the really really sharp eyeliner goes all the way to your hairline versus this one everything is kind of like downwards everything is like droopy and so I wanted to really embrace that and exaggerate it and almost kind of translate her eye into like a fish-like eye. I definitely watched a lot of makeup tutorials on YouTube, specifically like the Black Diamond members. They all have their own like makeup tutorials, which is so, so interesting because they all do it a little bit differently. But the overall Gyaru and Ganguro vibes are very strong. I definitely wanted to mirror her G1 makeup, which was overall purple eyeshadow. However, I added yellow in there to make it pop a little bit more, and I actually really, really like it. It reminds me of orchids, so I am obsessed with it. 
Of course, we have to give Miss Laguna some glitter highlighter, like all over her face, all over her body. She needs to look wet and glistening and just amazing. Her original catch lights was actually bubbles, so I'm doing the same exact thing. But for this one, it's a little bit more kind of like realistic bubbles instead of like the perfect circles. We're pretty much finished with her face. I really, really like how it's going. I have been under the weather. So doing this face up took longer than I would like, unfortunately. We just need to work on her lashes. I feel like the lashes will really make the Gyaru makeup pop. They're like drag queens, you know, they stack the lashes, they they do it all. It's, it, they, they're in drag. They're in drag, obviously. I cannot believe how many lashes I used for Miss Laguna. I think each eye had like 20 to 22 individual eyelashes, which really helps sell the Gyaru look because for the most part, most of the Gyaru makeup tutorials I've seen, they are double stacking these lashes. It truly is giving drag queen vibes. They said 301s. 301s, top, bottom, showgirl, done, over. <laughs> and voila, we are done with Miss Laguna's Gyaru makeover. And here's a before and after of Miss Laguna. You finally dress her up. Oh my god, it's been a lot. It's been a journey. Okay, I am absolutely obsessed with her right now. Let's go ahead and customize her phone like the other ghouls. And as you can see, this is the phone that she came with. It is just a plain shell phone. I want to add some charms to this phone case. So I am just making a hole using a pin over here. And phone charms were all the rage like before. Like I was growing up and my Nokia phone had so many freaking charms in there. There was bells, there was keychains, anime, all of that. You know you've made it when your phone charms end up being heavier than your actual phone. For the back of her phone case, I am going to keep it a little bit simple. I really do love the phone case being a shell overall. Uh, maybe like a charm here and there. But for the front, that is where we're going crazy and we're gonna bling it out. I'm putting some butterflies. We're putting some Preciosa crystals all over the phone case. And it's just so, so cool, very blingy, and just so fun. And I made this charm off camera, and it's literally just strung up beads in green thread. I have finally finished her phone, and I am so freaking obsessed with it. I added resin to the actual screen so that it's a lot more reflective. I really love this charm over here. Like this is definitely like, like 90s, early 2000s vibes. And yeah, I really am in love with this phone. Now let's work on the finishing touches. Now it's time to style her hair and I really just want to give her really big 80s slash gyaru slash like disco slash just big hair. I want her to have big hair, beachy and just glamorous. 